Let's talk about the Lovers on the Sun palettes from Terra Moods Cosmetics. They've come out with two eyeshadow palettes that are six pan palettes. Now they have the same outer packaging, but there's actually two different versions. There's a lunar and a solar, and the color story does correspond to that. There's also lip glosses that launch in this collection, as well as 10 single eyeshadows, which I will be doing a dedicated video on those, but I have so far ordered four of them and I'm waiting for a pre-order of the other four shades. So I wanted to just do a dedicated video instead of doing kind of like a four shades and the palettes and then four more shades. I did order one of the lip glosses with the pre-order shades, but they did send me the Solar Energy shade, which is, this is the one that I ordered. It's a really stunning, super glittery and shifty lip. So onto the Lunar palette. First up, this one is $45 and the other palette, the Solar version is $39. So the price varies a little bit because this one has two mattes, the other one is three mattes, and also it depends on what kind of shimmers are in the palette. And this one definitely has lots of really beautiful beautiful shiny and sparkly shades in here. I am wearing Galactic Heart as my eyeliner and then Nebula Whisper on the lid and then Solar Halo from the other palette on my inner corner. I didn't film this. I just wanted to play with the palettes and pair them together and see what kind of look I could come up with and I do definitely think that they pair really nicely together and I will be showing you individual swatches of all the shimmer shades so I will be talking more about the textures in that part of the video but touching on it a little bit I think you can tell just from the pans which ones are extra sparkly and and a little bit flaky, specifically Nebula Whisper. I do think that the color story is very fitting to the lunar theme. So let's talk about the Solar palette next. This one is a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit more... I don't know why this makes me think of like a sunset in a Sahara. So maybe like I'm thinking of like a really dry planet or something like that. And I love that both of these have an iridescent shade in here because I think that it just really allows you to play around and layer that one. Personally, this color story did speak out to me a little bit more because it is a little bit more on the colorful side. And also because Galactic Heart looks like such an interesting shade. I could not wait to swatch it out. And I did purchase both the palettes myself. So let's get into the detail swatches of each of the shimmer shades and then the comparisons and then I'll look with each of the palettes and then I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video so let's get right into it. Starting with the Lunar palette this is the shade Solar Halo and it is described as an iridescent chameleon that shifts bright purple pink and gold. I'm not sure if I really see I guess a little bit of the gold here on a harsh angle. This shade while it is smooth it does feel a little like very lightly gritty textured, not in like an irritating way, but it's not like completely, completely smooth like some of their other iridescent shades, but it just means that it is definitely a bit more sparkly. Then there's Sunset Embrace, which is a lavender multichrome with lots of sparkle. There's no description on the shift. I feel like I see a blue for sure happening. It's a little bit of a lighter gold, almost like a beige flash straight on, and the purple's more of like a base, but I don't really feel like it's extremely shifty. It's just very dimensional and very sparkly, similar texture to Solar Halo, a little bit on the flaky side, but does smooth out. Galactic Heart, a deep purple multi-chrome that shifts pink, gold, and green. So you can, you can kind of see the shift on an angle, but I think that it has a blackish base to it and I feel like in this case because it is more sparkly than necessarily like a liquid metal almost I feel like the black base is kind of not really showing the shift through as well I think there you can kind of see a little bit more and this is the smoothest least textured shadow in the whole palette Nebula Whisper is a super foiled silver metallic you can really see it is so so metallic, but it has that sparkle and it is a little bit on the flaky side. It also feels a slightly gritty to the touch when you're smoothing it out. But again, not in an irritating way. It's just the nature of the particle. It really brings that sparkle. Onto the Solar palette. This is Solar Halo and it is described as an iridescent chameleon that shifts gold, green, and pink. This is such a stunning shade. I've definitely seen similar shades. It does also have a bit more texture to it, just like the iridescent from the previous palette, but I think this one might be a little bit more flaky, but definitely, again, smooths out and just really brings on that sparkle. Then Amorous Rays, a rose gold duochrome, extra sparkly shimmer for sure. Not sure about the duochrome per se. There are definitely other flex throughout the shade, so it is quite dimensional. It is very, very sparkly, and it does have a little bit of a flakier texture, but it does smooth out. 
And lastly, Galactic Heart, a muted green multi-chrome that shifts silver pink with hints of gold. Such a stunner, very, very dimensional. You can see the gold here on an angle. And it does have that really, really grungy, olivey toned base to it. I think this is one of the most standout shades between the two palettes. I'm first going to be dipping into this palette. Picked up Amorous Rays. This is a Sigma Blending E36, and they did send this to me just recently, within the last couple of weeks. It is definitely a little flimsy for my taste. There is so much kick up in the pan, which is very usual for Terra Moons mattes, but it is very, very, very opaque, very pigmented. And it's definitely blending out nicely. But I feel like I need a little bit of a fluffier brush. I'm just going to use the E25. I usually don't use these kinds of brushes because I don't, that's just not how I apply my eyeshadow. But I think on the side it's really nice and effective. But let me just show you how much kick up is in this pan. Oh my god. I picked up Celestial Love and there's zero kick up. So that's very interesting. And it's going to go in the outer corner. I feel like this is such an expected look, but that is just what I gravitated towards. And probably how I would predominantly use this palette. And then I'm wiping off my brush and I'm just going to go over the edges and just blend out whatever is on my skin. Before I decide if I want to add more definitely do down here but for now let me just blend 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 and that is blending really nicely still very interesting how there is zero kick up in this pan compared to the other one and then I'm just gonna take it a little bit underneath my lower lash line as well and I'm just kind of putting it on an angle and then I'm wiping off my brush and I'm just gonna go and blend outwards. Putting down a bit of the, what is this, Shimmer Stay from Bella Beauté Bar. And I'm gonna cut, do like a half cut curry situation. So there is like a harsh line, but I'm just gonna go over it with my finger just to tap it out. And yes, I haven't put on nail polish on my newly pressed on press on nails because I can't decide on which nail polish I wanna wear next. Picked up Solar Halo and I'm gonna pop, ooh. Looks like it's UV, super cool. I'm gonna pop that right up against where I put the sticky primer. And then on the rest of the lid, ooh, that's, that's a hard one. I think I'm gonna go in with Sunset Embrace. Oh my gosh, this is like liquid metal in the pan. Oh, that's so pretty. Definitely want even more of that on. Oh, I love this combination. Picked up a little bit of Solar Flare. I'm going to put that on the inner corner. This one's a little bit like, it's not that it's like that flaky, but it's flaky enough where it's not really picking up. So I would definitely recommend spraying your brush. This would make a great highlighter as well. Definitely got a little bit of fallout. Here's a first finished look. Moving on to this palette, picked up Sunset Embrace and I'm going to put that into the crease. But I'm not going to take it all the way out here because I'm going to go in there with the 
beautiful teal shade. And I'm using a Sigma Detail Diffuser Crease. I definitely have this brush, I believe. And this one just is going to really blow it out. I could go in with the yellow. There's a lot of kick up too in this one. Definitely not as hard pressed as that darker shade in the other. I feel like it's really sticking down. And I find that in general with the Terra Moons Matte Formula. The ones that are really powdery, they just really like to stick down. I will definitely have to try these on a different primer, but from what I remember, like look at this. Look. <laughs> I usually don't care for a lot of kick up, but this is kind of a lot for just three dips, barely touching with the softest brush. Picked up Nebula Whisper on the Medium Sweeper Sigma brush. And this one's also harder pressed in there. There is no kick up and I'm like really really pressing in there that is such a beautiful color i'm just sweeping that <laughs> i'm sweeping that on my lid and onto the outer corner and then i'm just gonna slowly go in and finish kind of blending it out but first i'm gonna go and connect my lower lash line with that shade and then i'm gonna take do i want to use this one i'm just gonna use this brush the other Sigma brush I was using in the other look and the Sigma brush and I'm just going to really lightly feather the edges of that. But I don't really want to like necessarily add more, I just want to really feather the edges of this shade. I feel like it's mixing a little bit with what was on the brush already unfortunately. But I think it looks good. Going in with Shimmer Stay from Belle Beauty Bar, I'm just going to go in with my finger and just take any extra excess off and ooh, what do I want to do I want to use a really small brush so I'm gonna go into the smudge brush from Sigma and this shade is a little bit flaky this is solar halo it's definitely lightly pressed very flaky so I'm gonna be very careful sometimes I feel like flaky shades don't really like certain glitter glue so we'll see how this pans out but I'm really tempted to just go in with my fingers. So I'm gonna use Galactic Heart and I'm just gonna pretend that I have nail polish on. But I think I made a decision on which nail polish I want to go with. So you'll just have to wait and see. But that looks so stunning. This this shade is so opaque and oh when you feather it out it's so so dimensional. There's definitely a lot. It looks wet on the lid, honestly. Here's the second finished look. So first, let's talk about the Solar Palette. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do kind of prefer this color story to the other color story, but I do love the theme. And also the packaging, really beautiful, super, super fun. Feels nice and sturdy and high quality. And it does have a little mirror in here as well. I love the six pans. I like that it's a little concise color story. Also, that means that the price tag is going to be a little bit lower. These are full size pans and you do get the beautiful high quality shimmer formula that Terra Moons has, which they do have a couple of them. As for the mattes, if you've been on my channel, I have mentioned that they're not my favorite mattes because they are usually a little bit on the thinner side. There's quite a bit of kick up which doesn't always bother me but I feel like with these because there is that kick up it makes them pick up really heavy and even if you tap off your brush and I feel like they kind of tend to stick down just a little bit I feel like they're not as easy to use as some other matte formulas but that's just a personal preference I'm sure there's plenty of people who absolutely love their formula I do want to mention that the shade right here is for sure harder pressed thing I would honestly prefer if these were same like this I think I just prefer slightly harder more pressed matte shades that being said these are are very pigmented just not my preference in terms of matte formula but I love the shimmers in here I love the color story so pretty much the same thing with this palette this matte is pretty powdery but this one's a little bit harder pressed and I just think it was a little bit easier to work with because it was harder pressed but once again like that is totally just like my thing so if it doesn't bother you that there's a little bit more kick up if you are familiar with their formula and you love their matte formula then you're definitely going to for sure enjoy both of these palettes I like that there's more shimmers in here but I do feel like like 
there's a little bit more variety because of the different mattes that are in the other palette. So it's kind of like both. I prefer the color story on the other one, but this one does definitely have really amped up shimmers. Galactic Heart is the smoothest one out of all of these. Nebula Whisper is the most textured one out of these. It also is absolutely so, so shiny. I mean, look at that. Definitely recommend some sort of a tacky primer. If you're familiar with the Minka palette from Adept Cosmetics, I think this shade is the closest to that formula in that palette of the really ultra sparkly, flaky, really metallic shades on the top of the row. And I did actually compare one of them to that shade so you could really see. I think the texture is a little bit different, but they're really, really similar. So those are some of my initial thoughts on the two palettes. I am quite familiar with Charm Woods at this point. I have quite a few of their matte eyeshadows as well as shimmers. I have lots of videos on their shimmers. So let me know in the comments below what you think of these little six pen palettes from Term Woods. Are you excited to see them dipping into some more palettes or do you prefer singles from them? I would love to hear your thoughts and stay tuned for another video featuring these single eyeshadows once I receive my pre-order. And that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it and or you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.